What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw, the PS2 Classic, playing it through a PC emulator, and yesterday, we had the appearance of Matt Hardy, which was wonderful! What was not so wonderful was him trying to take Stacey Keebler back to Raw when she wanted to be on SmackDown. Not cool, Matt. Anyhow, let's see how that plays out on today's episode. Delightful. Well, look who's back from Raw, Taz. It's Matt Hardy again, and this time he's brought Wait. Batista with him. Batista? Batista. Boo-tista. Blue-tista. Duct tape? Really? Are you serious? Last week, I came to SmackDown to bring Stacey Keebler back to Raw, and I got ambushed in the ring by two so-called... Superstars from SmackDown. Delightful. Well, Matt Hardy version one's back, and I've got a message for those two gutless cowards. If you think you're so tough, how about both of you come down to this ring and get a Mattitude adjustment and have a match with both of us right now? Oh, that's so obsolete. <laughs> you suck. You suck. GM Kurt Angle. It's so just up to date these days. Guys, I think you're a little confused. This isn't raw. Get off my show. So unless you've got a valid SmackDown contract, you need to get the hell out of my arena right now. Yeah, you tell him, Kurt. What about Stacy? She's not supposed to be here either. Look, Batista. Just because you're a guardian of the galaxy. Well... I'm currently in the process of reviewing Stacy's contract. Is that innuendo? And it might take all night to finish. Uh, is that innuendo? But believe me, I've got no interest in reviewing anything that you two have to offer. But Batiste is a main event guy. So if you're not going to wrestle in my ring, get the hell out of it. Okay. What? Matt Hardy is pissed. So, are we having a tag team match or not, playa? Holla holla. Oh boy, the world's greatest tag team. Attack Slug and Charlie Haas. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish with Stacy. She approached me first. Listen, pal. It doesn't matter who she came to first. It's all about who she comes to last. Uh. I've got just what Stacy's looking for. So why don't you just back off? You're Charlie Haas. I'm sorry. Maybe you should back off, bro. And here comes Stacy. And here comes Stace. No. Look, for now, we better focus on our match tonight because we've got a tag team match player against those chumps from the other show, Broken, Matt Hardy, and Drax the Destroyer. Yeah, maybe you're right. And maybe Stacy ain't worth all the trouble anyhow. Well, what do you even... First you wanted her, now you don't want her? What is wrong with you, Charlie Haas? Well then, thuggin' and buggin', uh, Mysterio loses to Renee Dupree. That's bad booking. Well, we don't have Miss Keebler just yet, uh, to choose as a manager, so whatever. Anyway, I welcome you to a fine, there's Batista, a fine Wednesday here on this show. If you happen to notice, uh-oh, machine gun time. Do it, do it. Oh, not the, that was that was before the machine gun. Um, if you haven't noticed any bits of blank audio from me here on this show, I'm trying to do an experiment where if YouTube does not hear any of my cursing, then they will not flag this video for foul language, and it will do what it should do. Now, if it doesn't do what it usually would do before this whole ad apocalypse began, then that means that YouTube. Advertisers legit just do not want ads on wrestling content, and that's a whole different discussion. That's a whole different can of worms that I'm not going to even start to approach in this video. But rest assured, uh, I will definitely be changing things up in some form or fashion. Uh, and there's Matt Hardy, who previously, in, in a previous life, yes, Matt Fax, in a previous life could slap a tornado. Uh, but now he's just broken. Delete. 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 Anyhow, honestly, I don't think that foul language is that integral to the kinds of videos that I do. 
And I think I can still be here and discuss wrestling and eviscerate, uh, you know, different bad wrestling booking uh, with a expanded vocabulary and not worry about uh, using that kind of language. But if I accidentally do, because I occasionally would, because it will be helpful to me when I'm trying to get past my speech impediment, which you may have noticed by now at this point, um, occasionally I'll curse. But if I can just, you know, just kill the audio for those parts of the video, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. I mean, it's a big deal if YouTube hates wrestling. That's the big deal. And uh, I will be getting into more of that uh, here with some experiments uh, in the coming days or weeks or something. I don't know. It's it's just... It's a, it's a mess. But speaking of... Oh, no! Speaking of a mess. Monday Night Raw. So having now watched that dumpster match, uh, like... What I said yesterday about that match was, all right, sure, you know, you're, you're not going to have Roman Reigns appear and do his thing and do the spear. That would be the, the good spot for that match, and he's not going to do it. All right, fine. But, number one, the dumpster match from the two that existed prior to this one, uh, at WrestleMania 14 and at King of the Ring uh, 2000, I think that's what, what they said. I don't remember the one at King of the Ring at all. Like, obviously, the Mania one was... The first one. But the dumpster match should, or, well, it operates on the same, woo, on the same principle, really, Matt, as a casket match, right? So to win the match, you should put your opponent in the dumpster and close the lid, which is not what happened on Raw. And I'm like, wait, wh why is this a thing that I should... Uh. And then... Uh, unlike when they had the dumpster bit, uh, the last time it happened with, uh, Mick Foley and Terry Funk being pushed over the stage by the New Age Outlaws, that match, or, I'm sorry, that stage was way higher. This stage now is like a foot and a half high, so, honestly, Kalisto falls farther going from the top rope into the ring than he fell from in the dumpster on the stage. Like... It looked so lame. Like, did no one tell them it was going to look that lame? Because, man, that looked lame. Real bad. Like, if he had put that dumpster in a bigger dumpster, or if he had, I don't know. If he had picked up the dumpster and threw it, uh, that would have been uh, much, much better. Uh, but again, I think what they should have done was have Roman Reigns spear Braun into the dumpster, because that would have made more sense. Would have made Roman look strong. And, uh, I'm still in the blue here, Matt. I'm still in the blue here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Here we go. Boom. What even is that move? Um, anyway. Speaking of things on Raw that bug me. Uh, and I'll get into SmackDown here in a, in a moment. Or perhaps in the next match. But, on Raw. Uh, and I meant to get to, to yesterday, and I didn't. Is the fact that. Again, we have Finn Balor teaming with Seth Rollins. And look, I understand that in wrestling, people only, or the company only acknowledges past history when it suits them, when it, uh, you know, is logistically, or lo when it suits their bottom line in the story they're trying to tell for whatever moment, right? So, the problem is that they spent so long building up the network, right? And saying, oh, well, if you if you want to see history, watch the network. But never acknowledging history. So, say if you were a new viewer, right? And you were like, wow, Finn Balor was the first Universal, Universal ch Champion. I want to see him win that belt. So you go back and you watch SummerSlam. And you're like, oh, wait, Seth Rollins legit hurt him. And put him out of action for, you know, eight, nine months legitimately. Uh, why in the world would Finn Balor want a team with Seth Rollins? That is logistically inconsistent. And yet, and yet, we acknowledge the history of Dean Ambrose and Chris Jericho. Which, again, was great. You're acknowledging characters and their past histories. Like, that works because wrestling fans, for the most part, are paying attention, and uh, it makes that segment that much better to acknowledge the $15,000 uh, jacket 
and to acknowledge killing Mitch. Mitch! R rest in peace, Mitch. Um, and, you know, the, the thumbtacks and everything else. Like, that makes a whole lot of sense. Now, I still don't understand why we're having a Miz and Dean Ambrose feud on Raw when we already have it on SmackDown pretty recently. Because uh, that just makes the Superstar shakeup look kind of meaningless. But that's a different discussion. Uh, but in any event, uh, it's just kind of, just kind of stupid. And like I'm like, if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna acknowledge any other, uh, let's tag out here. One of these buttons tags that. Nope, that's not the button. Again, I know now when I tag in Haas, who has three finishers, that I will be able to, um, control him, which is great. Batista. What is happening here? Batista can't get us out of this. That was weird. That was weird. No, that's not the right button. I want to hit the right button. I don't know what it is. Nope. Not that. Nope. Now I'm getting kicked. Not cool, Matt Hardy. Not cool. I've... Oh! Low blow to Matt Hardy. Haha! Hit you with another salt shaker. Um... What else here? Uh, elsewhere on Raw, uh, Alexa Bliss is really good at her job. Batista, what are you doing? Wow. Batista's real dumb. There we go. We win that match. Matt Fat. see that? I think this is starting to get out of hand. Starting to, Taz? You're right, Taz. And what business do these Raw superstars have here anyway? Stacy isn't a piece of property. She's a human being. Thank you, Michael Cole. Every storyline so far has been the opposite, but thank you for being the voice of reason, Michael Cole. I never thought I'd say that. All these tomatoes. Anyway, backstage. My head hurts. I need aspirin. Oh, hey, Stacy. Hey, I saw what happened tonight. Pretty brutal. But you held your own pretty well, I think. We won the match. I'm taking off now, and I'll be back on Raw next week. What? If you're in town, you should come to the show. What was the point of any of this? I've got a bra and Whoa. panties match against Trish okay. Stratus that you're not going to want to miss. Um, all right then. If I win the match, I might let you play Santa afterwards. Um, what's that mean? That means if you win, you can take a seat in the middle of the ring, and I'll sit on your lap and tell you what I want for Christmas. Okay. Wow. That Stacy is one hot little tomato. Tomatoes. I think I'm putting her on my Christmas list this year. Yeah, good luck, Taz. And so we move on to the following week, perhaps with a shorter match uh, against somebody or some kind of a storyline or something. Oh, backstage again. Stacy, where she went back to Raw, dude. She went back to. She just told you going back to Raw next week. I'm over here. Uh oh. Oh, wait. I thought you might like to see what I'm wearing for the Grand Prix match tonight. I mean, okay. Well then, that's definitely going to get this video... Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not sure how YouTube's going to treat that, but definitely it's, you know... Since I'm going to win, no one but you is going to see this tonight. Well, all right then. And remember, if I win tonight, you... Get to play Santa. Okay. Only three words come to mind, JR. Ho, ho, ho. I guess we are on Raw because there's J Cherry the King Lawler doing his usual puppies. Oh, will you stop. Thanks, JR. Wait, I had to play as Stacy to win this match? Okay. I mean, okay. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying about Alexa Bliss. Man, it is unbelievably criminal how much better she is when you put her in a promo segment with Bailey and Sasha Banks because it's like Bailey and Sasha are like reading a script and Alexa Bliss sounds like a human being uh, also expertly getting rid of those what chants so thumbs way up on Alexa Bliss uh, being awesome and I have a note here about Bray Wyatt uh, and I don't recall what I was going to say about Bray Wyatt other than what in the world is the point of Bray Wyatt right now why was he in the main event for no reason? And 
what in the world is the House of Horrors match, nobody kind of knows. And that's weird. Anyway, moving on to SmackDown. Um, man, American Alpha is just doing a whole lot of nothing and jobbing, and everyone was real hyped for American Alpha there. And it's, they've, I don't know. I don't know if it's the booking or whatever else have just floundered. Um, I did like that Rusev had a little video thing saying that he will not appear on SmackDown unless he gets a title shot at Money in the Bank. I am all about garbage trucks. I am all about main event Rusev doing the main event thing. That dude deserves it. Uh, he is consistently entertaining on the show. All right, down and circle uh, does the bra and a panties uh, thing, and this should be. Hey, and I'm Jr. Oh boy, this should be. Yeah, these matches didn't have a lot of arm drags, did they? It was a lot of just cat fight, cat fight type stuff. So whether or not I, I can I can win this remains to be seen. So slam, boom, the world's slowest slam. Anyway, um, Hard Body Mahal, Jinder, stole the belt uh, after the beatdown with his crew, the Singh Brothers, the Bible Boys. Uh, and if you want to use that as justification as to why Randy can't defend the belt on, or at Payback this Sunday, that seems like a plausible way to go about it. But as far as I know, that match is not a title match. Roll up! There's no pinfalls here. It's a bra and panties match, Trish. Come on now. You should know better. I do like that Brizongo are the new number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. I think those guys are sorely, neckbreaker, sorely underrated, and they definitely deserve a shot uh, at that thing. Now, that being said, they're heels, or they were heels, and the Usos are heels, so... Having a heel versus heel match is weird, unless they're going to spend the next couple of weeks making sure that, that their faces for Brizongo, but they've been doing that, you know, thing with the the fashion police gimmick for a bit now. That's a heel thing, you know? So, I'm not really sure what the point of that is. But, they, they, could, they could build it. Um, and speaking of potential face turns, uh, Charlotte? Is any of that what happened at the end of that show? Is that a face turn for Charlotte? Or, like, what... What's going on there? That seems uh, weird. And man, Stacy, or I'm sorry, Trish here is really giving me the business. Wow. Okay. Giving me the business. Um. Yeah. There we go. All right. Down and circle. Down and circle. Yeah. Rip it. Ow. Delete. Delete. This is gonna take forever. This is gonna take forever. Um. In wrestling news, I can't get up now. In wow, in 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 wrestling news, uh, they apparently have greenlit a Vince McMahon biopic. So a movie about 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 the life of Vince McMahon. Uh, number one, his life is amazing, right? So that should be phenomenal. Uh, but I guess the real question is, who 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 in the world could you possibly get? to play Vince. Seriously. Vince McMahon is so one of a kind. Who could you possibly have that would do that role justice? Because I just don't know. Uh, that seems insane to me. But that apparently is moving forward uh, with Paramount or somebody. Like, it's an actual legit thing. Oh no, the spanking. The spankering. Here we go. Fail. I failed at the spankering. I'm sorry. Hankering for a spankering. Um, what else we got here? Uh, Cody Rhodes has signed with TN... Or, I'm, I'm sorry, Ring of Honor. I'm confused by the spankering. Uh, he has signed with, with Ring of Honor, which means he can continue working New Japan, uh, but means that he is done with Impact. So, I guess that's not great for Impact, but whatever. Uh, there's a, a lot of things these days that, that are not great for Impact, so... New... I'm going to do it, Trish. It's going to happen. This is... Wow, that was... What? Oh, okay. All right, sure. We're halfway there. Relax, King. Relax, you old pervert. Uh, 
Anyway. Nope. Reversed it. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Roll it up. Roll it up. Rip it out. Roll it up. And we're done. And we're done. Thank you much. Give up. Yes, give up is the appropriate word there. And here comes Attack Slug who wants that Santa. Yep, he, he wants to be Santa here. I'm not, I'm not sure what month it is, but he wants to be Santa. So that's happening now. Uh, and there's not much I can do about it. So I guess polygons are being salacious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the music. Stop the music. Eric Bischoff. I'm back. I'm better than ever. You know, I wasn't too happy with how he treated my superstars last week. I'm sorry. So our next match is a handicap match between him and the team of Matt Hardy and Batista. That's not cool. I was going to get a lap dance. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Don't appreciate. Oh, I thought I was done today. Apparently I'm not done. Man, that sucks. Perhaps I'll just lose real fast. I don't know. Like, I had an, enough of a problem beating Matt Hardy in the last match. And I'm JR. Because, uh, not a fan of handicap matches. Seriously. Peeps. So, yeah, um, I mean, I guess I gotta sit here and, and, and discuss some of this YouTube business, which is, it's, it's a mess. It's, YouTube is training a machine, or at least they call it the, the machine, uh, and that apparently, uh, is scanning for foul language, according to them, uh, but also is scanning for things in the videos. I'm not sure how that's even feasible on a technical level, because it sounds like something that is just, like, some Skynet stuff, but... What do I know? Like, I'm, I'm not a computer programmer. But, you know, it, it's one thing that they're, they're already scanning for language because they have their closed captioning, so that makes sense to scan for language. Um, but no, like, nothing else about that situation makes any real sense. Uh, so... No, Batista! Uh, Batista! Referee! Not cool! Not cool, Matt, in your Matt Facts. I don't Appreciate this counter being so zoomed out. Really, really don't. Anyway, what in the world is this nonsense? Uh, we're going way too long today. Way too long today. I'm going to try to kind of change up things here if this doesn't work. And that they clearly, I don't know what you, YouTube wants. And if the advertisers don't want wrestling, that is just a huge problem on my part, because that's kind of what I do here, and I'm not going to stop doing it. That would be foolish. But how, Matt Hardy? How could you possibly have done that? Ah, oh, Batista. Batista, Batista, Batista. What? Wait, what's happening? What was that? He uses clean meter for something. I'm not sure what. I'm not that well-versed in how this game works, but... No. What? It's just... What? No, Matt. No. How about I... Oh, he reversed the... Nice. That was pretty good. I, I did so, so many of those, and he finally managed to get one reversed. What? All right, Matt, you've used up your clean meter now. Oh, come on. He's so red. He's so red. There. There. Tap. Tap. I won. Joke's on you, Batista. Joke's on you, Matt Hardy. I won that match. Joke's on you, Eric Bischoff. And there we go. Your winner. And victor. Really? More. Hey, Stacy. I think I'm going to sign with SmackDown after Survivor Series and manage you. But first, I need to know that you're better you're than any superstar on the Raw roster. So I persuaded Eric Bischoff to make a 15-man over-the-top rope challenge between you and 14 Raw superstars. Why would you do that? But don't worry. They're not going to all gang up on you. There's a lot of interest in my services on this show, too. And whoever wins the match wins me. Yay. We're going to have a cross-brand over-the-top rope challenge this Sunday at Survivor Series for Stacy Keebler's contract. 
I mean... I've got to talk to Eric Bischoff right now. Maybe I can get him to make it a 16-man match. Okay. And mercifully, it's over. Thanks for watching. I am your host, Attack Slug. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.